Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 844. My name is Christina and on today's episode I'm showing you the Mini Kanzashi Flower Makers by Clover. Today I am showing you the Kanzashi Flower Makers. This is the extra small size and these range in sizes up to I think an extra large. So all these flowers are nice and small, great for um, paper projects like cards and scrapbook layouts and stuff. This one here is the pointed petal. And this is what it looks like when it is completed in the size. You can see it's quite small. It's uh, one and a half inches in diameter. Um, and I have used a quilting cotton to do all my flowers here. And of course, you can always add in buttons or rhinestones or something in the middle. I um, just have my flowers because I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use them on. So I didn't want to completely finish them. This next one is called the rounded petal. And this is what the completed flower looks like. It's really cute. It adds in this little round edge to the edge of the flower there. And it's a six petal flower. This next one is the orchid petal. And this is what it looks like. So compared to the rounded petal, you can see the difference. The inside here is just flat, whereas this one has these extra little gathers. This one here is the daisy petal. It is 10 petals around. You can see it here, it's one and a half inches wide as well. And then this last one is the gathered petal. And I just found this one has a really big opening because of all those gathers. And I probably pulled it a little tight, but you get the idea. So in my case, I would need a larger button or something to cover that opening. Um, I would recommend using nothing heavier than a uh, cotton to make the mini flowers because they are so small. Um, but silks and organzas would be really nice too. The softer the material, the more it'll gather tightly together. So I'm going to show you using this one here, the um, pointed petal. And if you ever had taken all these out, if you had them all, they're color coded here. So, you know, the brown goes to the brown and the picture is also on the maker. So, you know what flower it is if you have it out and you like couldn't remember. Now, I've already started a few petals um, of my flower. And I've got two more petals to go, but just to show you. And what I do is I start with, you can't see it, but I knot my thread, do a knot for my first one. So what you do is you cut little squares of fabric, a little larger than, you can see here I did it sort of a lot larger than my maker. You put it on a diagonal and then you clip it into your flower maker or your petal maker like that and then you cut off the excess around now there's numbers in this case it goes one two three four five six seven eight there's always eight and um, so all I'm doing is going up through one, across through two, and then the thread goes in there. So when on the back, it's open there. So your thread never gets caught. You can see. Then down through four. Up through five. Across through six. 
up through seven and across through eight. Now because this one's curved, I usually, as it goes in, just make sure it gets there. So you do your eight, you open it up, then I like to pull it. So you'll see how this petal is going to get folded and then I push it with the other ones. And I have one more to do. So again, you fold your material on the diagonal. You place it inside your petal maker. Give it a little snap shut and then cut off the excess. up your needle. There we go. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice and easy. Open it up. Pull your thread and push over your thing. Now that we have all the petals, I'm going to pick up my needle again. What I'm going to do now is go back through that very first petal And that's how I'm going to bring it together. So now as I pull my thread, it will tighten the petals there. Now I am using um, a thicker thread, like an embroidery or quilt, not embroidery, a quilting type thread. So I can pull without it being, af being afraid that um, it's going to break on me. And then I'm just going to knot it off. I like to do just a couple knots. Cut off my thread. And then once I have it together, that's when I just play with it to make sure it's how I like it. And we have a really cute five petal flower, nice and small, perfect for those cards and scrapbook layouts and little projects. Now I actually got some Japanese tissue paper and I made the flowers out of the tissue paper as well, just to show you that with some nice thin papers, you can um, make cute little paper flowers as well. I have another one here. This one is really cute. And this one too that I didn't use in my project. But nice thin uh, tissue papers can be used as well. And then this is the little original page I added it to. So those are the little um, Kenzashi flower makers, the mini size by Clover. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you a make and take from Tim Holtz. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.